Welcome to the Stogie Palace. I am your host, Chris. Today I have a Davidoff Escurio, or Escurio. Uh, it came in this tube. And here's the actual cigar itself. Really nice looking wrapper. Did a straight cut on it. Interesting flavors. It's It's got some of the flavors of root beer, but not root beer, uh, like um, like that filet that, that you put in gumbo, um, or nutmeg, or the sarsaparilla, you know, it's right on the edge, but not quite, it's a little different. Um, flavor is definitely different overall. Got some of that Brazilian uh, tobacco in there. This is a four and a half by 54 Robusto, rated as medium to full. I've had it for about two weeks now, and this is one of the... Uh, Cigar Authority Care Package Cigars. That's the one where you get four cigars for $19.99, including delivery. This cigar alone retails $15 to $16, just this one. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be a good cigar. Um, so yeah, Escurio, or Escurio, Escape to Rio. You know, maybe that's where they're going with this. Um, what I read online, it was a derivative of two words, Escuro, which is dark, in Rio for Rio de Janeiro, inspiration for the cigar. On Davidoff's website, it says, R, it makes it sound like it's an acronym for Rio, Rhythm, Intrigue, Originality. I don't know, but I say we get this thing lit up. It's got a really easy draw. Hopefully it's not too easy. Really interesting flavor there. Definitely different. Cigars International says, and they're the ones that sell this for around $15. So it's not retail, that's the actual price. Davidoff cigars are known all over the world for their immaculate construction, their exquisite blending, and the finest tobaccos, and being exclusive and hard to find. Don't want to overdo it on this toasting here. Davidoff Excurio is a follow-up to the highly rated Davidoff Nicaragua cigar and is handcrafted at the company's factory in Santiago, Dominican Republic. As with Davidoff Nicaragua, the blending of the cigar was guided by Hanky Kellner and Eladio Diaz, and this blend was created to be spicy sweet. Hmm. You can tell I think I'm going to like this. Um... In this next paragraph, instead of me telling you about the wrapper and filler and binder, this paragraph does it for me. The Davidoff Scurio is draped with an oily and dark Ecuador Habano wrapper with a Brazilian Cubra binder and Brazilian Cubra, Brazilian Matafina, Dominican San Vicente Piloto, and Olor Piloto Secos. Long fillers. It's a lot of different tobaccos. Expect a well-constructed, slow-burning, medium-bodied cigar. Speaking of that, I need to start my timer. Um, with medium-bodied cigar and plenty with plenty of complexity. I like that description. I like that aroma. Your palate will dance a lively samba with rhythmic tones, including leather, cream, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Nutmeg is one of the ones I was picking up on earlier. Embrace the joy and vibrancy of Brazil and order Davidoff Excurio while they're in stock. Mm. Really nice draw. Lots of smoke output. Nice aroma too. that ring gauge was a little smaller 50 would be perfect for this I don't know if they make one like that they probably do maybe they do I don't know didn't look so as always it sort of reminds me of something else and I, wa I want to say this is my first dab off but um, technically the Corojo or the I'm sorry the Camacho American Barrel Age is made by Davidoff in the same factory. I believe it's the same factory. I know it's made by Davidoff, and uh, that was one terrific cigar. So 
the factory you make some good stuff. It's a good size too. It's only four and a half inches. So see how long it lasts? It says it's a slow burner. Mm-hmm. Like it so far. So see where it goes. About 35 minutes into this Davidoff Escurio. Took off the first little band. Still got Davidoff band on there. Uh, it's burning and drawing terrific. Great smoke output. Love that draw. Hadn't done a waft yet. Doing it on the fly here. Definitely a little bite to it. Flavor wise, the first third I was picking up something on the finish that I didn't particularly care for and I think it was leather but it was that that kind of leather that's a little like a fake leather the plasticky label, leather, uh, leather and leather isn't along with too much cedar sometimes isn't my favorite but um, but that didn't last thankfully um, the ash held on to right where you see here it just just fell off big huge huge chunk almost half of the cigar so nice strong ash great construction Hmm. That Brazilian tobacco is definitely different. It's got a little bit of a, a bite to it. it. Won't go as far as saying bitter, but it it's approaches it, but not quite. So let's keep on going. Uh, I don't know about this one being a slow burner. It seems like it's going kind of quick to me, but I'm liking it so far. I'll tell you that. A little over an hour in to this Davidoff Escurio. Escurio. Burn, um, got a little, almost canoed there on a, a seam, but it's self-corrected, but it still has an occasional waviness, but can't complain about the draw and smoke output. It's really well constructed. The ash here is a little flakier than it was in the beginning. Now, one thing that was mentioned about the cigar was complexity, and that can mean a couple things to people. For me, complexity means you get your three thirds and you'll send some shifts in there, or which I haven't noticed. I mean, that, that one leather factor that was in there went away, but it could also mean that, especially with so many different tobaccos in the cigar, that throughout the cigar, there's in each area of the cigar, there's some complexity going on because there's so many different tobaccos going on. Maybe that's what it means in this one because I'm. I'm not getting any major flavor shifts, that's for sure. Um, Strength-wise, still a little early because for me, nicotine is a time delay kind of thing. I, I feel it most when I'm done and the video is turned off when the review is over. Um, but I feel a little bit, um, I would say medium to medium full right now. Maybe not even call all the way to medium full. I know I said that the Camacho American Barrel Age made the same factory by Davidoff, and it's what it, this is what it reminds me of, except <clears throat> this one here has a little bit of different finish on it. It's a little rougher. It's uh, kind of hard to, to say exactly what, what it is. It's, it, it must be that Brazilian tobacco and all the different kinds in there. And all those names of tobaccos that I said earlier. I can't even remember now, but anyway, um, I'm liking it so far. I think this size is going to be pretty much perfect. Um, so check in one more time, and I have no idea how I'm going to score this one yet. I haven't really marked it down for very much. I would say the only area that it, it's not, it, it, all the areas are scoring pretty good, except for maybe the flavor. It's not a bad flavor. It's just not blowing me away. Um, so let's keep going. Well, I'm going to wrap up this review of this Davidoff Escurio, the Robusto that comes in a tube. Um, so let's go through it. The, towards the end here, after I just told you I didn't get much flavor shifts, got a little tangy. But it also uh, got a little stronger. I, I, sometimes I wonder if uh, you know cigar manufacturers, they pack in the, the power towards the end to get your attention. 
as you're just about winding down. And the other reason why I think that is because the uh, combustion started going downhill a little bit. Uh, the burn was getting uneven. It almost went out a couple times. Had to do a touch-up, the only one. Um, but it came back fine with the, the draw was never a problem. But uh, it almost went out a couple times. So there might have been some more stronger tobacco in there. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of a tangy element. It's getting a little warm now, so I'm almost done with it. So uh, appearance-wise, a lot of uh, detail in the uh, the tube, the, the band, really nice looking cigar as far as the uh, wrapper held together really nicely. You see it's getting flowering a little bit there on the outside there, but um, burn, a little wavy at times, um, that one little canoe area that fix itself but otherwise it burned really well so for that touch up and the uh, draw was great throughout smoke output was really good too aroma really nice taste it's probably the only area that I'm uh, out of the four areas because the next one would be overall it's the only area that I, it took a little more in the way it hits because it, overall it didn't take really any hits at all it's, it's, a, it's a really good cigar um, but it's just a little bit rougher um, it's hard to describe what I'm trying to get across with that. It's still really good, but cigars that I've rated better uh, are usually a little bit smoother in their transitions and not as scratchy. Uh, there's just a little bit of roughness in there. Earthy? You want to call it that? You can call it that, I guess. Um, but overall, uh, I end up scoring it at a 96. Probably in the middle of the pack of those 96s, too. Um, right below probably the uh, Illusion uh, Fume de Amor. And there's a whole bunch of great ones above that too, obviously. But um, overall, really nice. I think it's going to end up medium full in strength. Um, price is something to keep in you know in mind. It's definitely not cheap. 15 to $16 cigar, where the, Ameri the American Barrel Age from, from Camacho is probably half that. And to me, a better cigar but you know to each his own so anyway thanks for watching once again this has been the Davidoff Escurio and uh, this is Chris at Stogie Palace see you later